Hello everybody, Marcel Sumit Loda and I welcome all of you on behalf of my channel Learn with Lodhas. I hope you all are doing well and let's see what is in my bucket today to share with you all. So our today's discussion will be how to prepare and file ETDS return. First of all, one should understand what is ETDS return. Every tax deductor who is deducting tax uh, on the payment who is making to somebody, whether it may be in the form of salary or it may be in the form of non-salary, that deductor has to file the particulars of that tax deduction to the website of NSD. So this uh, return on statement basically become the basis of 26 AS. What uh, uh, I think you might be aware about 26 AS. 26 AS is nothing but a uh, particulars of TDS or TCS or any other payments uh, deducted uh, on behalf of a particular person. So this TDS return filed by the deductor becomes basis for the entries appearing in the 26 AS of the deductive. So let's start how to do this. Basically there are three steps involved while doing this ETDS return filing. First of all one should understand one need to download TDS operation uh, utility from NSDL website. Since uh, in this video tutorial I am not showing you how to do this by using a particular software, a particular program provided by a vendor. But basically what I am do doing is, uh, I am just making this tutorial to show you how can you use the NSDL TDS preparation utility which is available freely online so that without paying any money to any vendor or software provider you can file your TDS written online. First of all, there is first step download TDS preparation utility, which is called as uh, RPU return preparation utility. Second step is preparation of TDS return and validation. Once you have downloaded that utility, what uh, can you do over there? You have to fill in the data in that TDS return and then you to validate. And once you have uh, done with all this thing, you need to file it online. Either you can fill it online by um, having your credentials on NSDL website but for having that you have to take a DSC digital signature certificate if you don't have that or you don't wish to take that so no worry what you can do is you just take that particular file into a CD or pen drive and just take it to nearest NSDL franchise so uh, in this tutorial I will cover the first portion of the first step involved in doing this for in my forthcoming tutorial I will show the second and third step to you so let's start how to download so when we start we start with the Google Mr. Google has provided us this facility to search anything so nsdl tinnsdl.com here you can see the website of tinnsdl First of all, I just wanted to have a brief view of what are the services provided by this website, tinnsdl.com. This is the Income Tax Department website, Tax Information Network. These are the services, TTDS, TCS, what, what we are going to cover. Next, annual information return, you can upload here, TAN, you can apply online TAN, you can know the status of applied TAN. Or uh, you can have likewise for PAN as well, online TAN registration you can do over here. You can have e-payment of taxes, you need to pay uh, self-assessment tax or EDS or uh, anything. You can just uh, have a link from this website. <coughs> what else you can do is form 24Z, online PAN verification and all. These are the facilities provided by this uh, website. So our today's focus would be how to download the return preparation utility. Just we are going to download that software. So you can go to home page. In home page you will find all these options. You select third option ETDS TCS filing. 
under that you just select fifth option from the top one two three four five ETD, uh, sorry, you, uh, you go for fourth option, file credited uh, name, fourth option you go for ETDS, ETCS, RPO, sorry, uh, yes, you can come over here, RPO for quarterly returns, okay, so, um, then there are the different kind of RPO available over here, so, these are the RPO for annual returns, and these are RPO for quarterly returns, so I presume, you are filing quarterly return so what you can do over here you just click on download of your version 3.7 once you will click on that this file will automatically get downloaded into your hard disk just click on that since i already have this file with my on my hard disk still i'm doing this so that you can have the actual view whatever i'm doing it's 3.5 mb file so no worry, it will just get downloaded in few seconds. It is already downloaded. Just double click on that. Click on yes. Click on this folder and just select rpo.bat. This is a basically file. You just okay. It's showing some error. Okay, no, no worry. It is on my PC. There are four kind of different forms. Uh, 24 cube it is applicable for salary that's 26 cube it is for non salary tax deductions and 27 cube and eq is for non resident basically so if you are a resident tax deductor so you need not to go for 27 cube and 27 eq you just go for 24 cube and 26 cube so once you will select this uh, i will uh, i assume that I'm filing this return for a non salary tax introduction. You just click on 26 Q, and uh, there are two options regular statement, collection statement. What it means that whether you want to uh, file this return first, uh, you are going to file this return first time, or you just want to have a correction for the any statement which you already filed. So, in my case, it is a regular statement and click on click to continue. So there are basically three tabs, form, chalan and action. All you need to file, fill in. Once you have done with all this, you can validate this file by using create file option. And uh, you will have the file created or uh, available with you. And just take those files into a CD or a pen drive. And along with that, you take a form 27A. Whatever I have told you uh, regarding the software, how to fill it and how to take this to NSD website, I will show it to you in my next tutorial. Till now, I have just shown you how to download this. So, if I go back, we have gone to this TIN website, TIN NSD website. We have downloaded RPU version 3.7 and after that, we have click on RPU.exe, this executable file that is application for making this uh, TDS data so we have seen like this this will uh, this will be like this so I think we have already uh, done with all this thing and this is all for now okay uh, in next tutorial I will show you how to prepare it and how to file it online so thank you very much for your patience if you like this tutorial just subscribe us on YouTube and you can like us on Facebook at uh, Learn with Lokas, and you can follow us on Twitter as well. Your every comment and every like make us feel that whatever we are doing is we are going into the right direction and it motivates us to a great extent. So thank you very much. So it's time to close. Thank you.